Today is the day of the bathroom. Hi guys, I don't think I said hello to you today, but we are in Dunel. Come on, Zanny. <laughs> Zanny's got the trolley. I've come to pick up, I ordered a bathroom cabinet this morning, so I've come to pick that up. So whilst we're here, I'm just having a quick look as well, just because I quite like Dunel. And I've actually got some nice cushions. And these are quite nice cushions, and only like five pounds. I would like some fresh eucalyptus, but I don't know where I'm gonna get that. So I have seen they've got some like four eucalyptus for the bathroom. I'm gonna get that for now, just for effect. And then I'd like the fresh eucalyptus, because apparently if you put that in your shower, it's like supposed to be really nice and relaxing. I'm gonna look around here, and then I'll catch up with you guys. Marcus starting on the bathroom. Well, yeah, see you in a minute. So tempted to get memes this for a little nursery. She would never use it, but it's cute. So guys, we just got back from Donnell to go all the way to Doncaster. So I picked up this metal black shelf. It's gonna replace <laughs> the grey one in the bathroom. Memes. I hope that this is black. It looks grey to me because I think it is grey, and that's really annoying because I bought it on the fact that it said it was a black one. So I hope they are actually black and not grey. Um, I would have preferred if they were like a wood colour, but. The weren't in there, so I've got that. And then I also got, let me do a little Dunelm haul for you. So I picked up some four eucalyptus. I do want some real eucalyptus for the shower, because like I said, apparently putting in showers is supposed to like really nice. But in the meanwhile, when I can't get my hands on real ones, I'll have this four one to hang up. Yeah. I picked up some towels from Dunelm. And then I got uh, like four to five towels from Donnell. And then I also picked up this, just like a little um, flower arrangement, but just like a little four one. Oh, like literally I picked up so many towels from Donnell. <laughs> so I'm not sure bore you with them. And I also picked up this, it's like a daily shower cleaner. I usually like Donnell's products, so picked that up. And I also got, I think I got a candle, just one of the vanilla candles. candles. I'm gonna see if this is any good. I used to get theirs all the time. But I forgot how they burn, so I just bought that anyway to test it. I also got this little pot. I think either I'm going to put it in the bathroom or I'm going to put it in the sunroom. Just like a nice little pot. And I thought they look quite nice in there. So yeah, I got that. And I think that's it. Oh, I also got, hold on guys. I also picked up a toilet seat from Dunelm now. I don't know, like I said, I think they're different sizes. So I don't even know whether this is the right size, but we'll have to wait and find out. So we'll see. So guys, we finally have a new shower screen. We are so excited. Sorry, I couldn't film us putting it up. Well, Mark is putting it up with me just holding it in place because it was very, very hard to do so. And now, we're just going to take off all this old sealant because it started to get like the black mould in there. So we're going to strip all that, new fresh sealant, seal the shower and then Mark and I were just discussing the shower itself. Our shower leaks, it's not that great and instead of spray painting this one, I think, I think after a bit we're actually just going to end up replacing it. So we're going to see. So pleased with that and I need to do the rest of the wall too and now we're just changing the toilet seat. So guys, we're just coming to Matalan first because I need to pick up my baskets that I weren't expecting until Monday but they've actually arrived in store early so I can go pick them up today. I've got the girls with me and memes and ah, oh, skimmies! Hi! She's with the cousin, she don't want to know her mama when she's with the cousins. She doesn't want to know her mama when she's with the cousins. So I can't help it but Matalan have the cutest like home section so I just want to check that out and see if there's anything for the bathroom maybe that I can pick up and um, then I'm also going to look at the kids section because their kids clothes are generally quite nice so it's going to be a quick gander the old mom Mark said love some outdoor lights oh you know I'm going to let him choose it because that's like his thing right now oh how cute is that Aww. imagine if you know what if me yeah, so the room was big enough I'd so get her that it's only 20 pounds oh how cute is that Oh, they've got all the outdoor games here, girls. I also want a bath mat, so... Oh, there's some really cute stuff in here, you know. Yeah, I'm also looking for a bath mat, but of course, obviously, I'm not going to TK Maxx, because why would I not? I'm going to look how cute these cushions are. They're actually woven as well. That is so cute. 
Oh my god, she screamed being queued down. Mia, I can't believe you were that child, Mia. You were that child. So guys, we've just got home. I've been everywhere. TK Maxx, Tesco, B&Q, Matalan. And that's not going to stay there. It's just because we already had a hook there. Um, so I just wanted to show you, pick that up from TK Maxx. I thought that was like the perfect thing to put there because we didn't want to put more shelves in here. And I just wanted something there. And Mark said a picture would get wet. So I just found that in TK Maxx and I really liked it. So I'm going to paint the walls, obviously, because so, so, the blue doesn't go. But I thought that was so cute. Marcus, in the meanwhile, has put up the shelving unit obviously we're going to take this off and paint behind it guys just because we've got to show you what else i got from tk maxx i picked up these bowls for the cats because i need new bowls i've had these plastic ones for ages and i don't like them so i got them some ceramic bowls and they're all matching i thought that was very cute i got them the wider ones just so there's enough room for their whiskers and then the after ages they actually had vanilla bean back in you guys one of my favorite scents oh so beautiful i picked up two of them they're the two ones left i'm gutted that they didn't have the massive one but yeah this one will do for now the vanilla bean and obviously that thing that shows you in the bathroom but then also they had like these clear pots these are so adorable they were literally like 199 and they are just so cute i think i'm gonna put these in the sunroom maybe i don't know why that one's got a hole i think these are like outdoor pots but i'm having them indoors guys i wasn't quite sure what bathroom colour to go for so i got this in rock salt i'm gonna i bought a tester and i bought the actual tub because i can't be bothered going back i hope i'm gonna use the tester first to see if it's the right sort of shade that i want and then just get painted on the bathroom do a damp sealant first and then do the paint i've never actually used one of these before i assume that you squeeze it oh it literally just like a white on um being cute, it looked a little bit different to be honest. I wanted it a bit more of a stone colour because it matched the tiles in the bathroom because they've still got a tinge of grey in them. I don't know actually, I'm going to have to get Marcus's opinion. He's gone to lay down because he said he's got a headache, I assume, from fasting. I'm going to have a look and let that dry a little bit and see how it looks. Guys, I got very sick of using the grout pens and honestly the permanent marker was just so much neater. And Marcus actually showered and the permanent marker didn't budge. Not today, like yesterday when I'd done it. And it's not budged. So to be honest, I just got some more and I'm just going to use these, see how I get on. And I wouldn't suggest you do this until maybe I'll give you an update in a couple of weeks that you know if it fades or anything like that. If you want to wait um, and remind me and I will update you. But the grout pens were just too much of a headache. I hated them. So I can't. I'm going to finish the rest of the bathroom off with like some permanent markers. Guys, I'm going in with the damp sealant first. And I'm just going to go around the whole of the bathroom. And then I'm going to neat, I've neatened up some of these lines. Um, and honestly, just anti-back wipe helps. Obviously, still needs doing. So that's going to be a little bit of a tedious job. But I just thought that's something that can wait. And for now, I just really want to get the damp sealant on. So that I can paint it. But I don't know if I can paint it today if I have to wait a day. So I'm going to wait and see if this is a damp sealant and an undercoat. It's the, what's it called? A Valspar one. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this done. Just thought I'd show you guys just how easy it is to actually get rid of the excess. So you literally just get your anti-back wipe and you just rub it along and you get the neat lines some bits are a little bit more tough than others but it's really that simple permanent marker lasts because if it does i would highly suggest you use permanent markers compared to the um what do you call it grout pens because they were really annoying but i'm just going through and just neatening up all the lines so it doesn't look like a cartoon drawing because that's exactly what it reminds me of right now Guys, I've been doing this bathroom and those tiles for like literally what feels like hours. I'm hoping you can see the difference of how much more neater they are. Still got some bits to do. Start the damp sealant, but then I've got a massive bubble, which is so annoying. So I have to peel the pin off. <sighs> but I'm only going to do one layer of damp sealant because I really can't be bothered. And then I'm just going to paint it because I want to be over and done with this bathroom because it's really like taking a lot longer than what. I thought it would mark because it's like we shouldn't have started painting today but then I also didn't want to leave it for another day. I literally just wanted to get the bathroom over and done with. 
so yeah that's the situation with that i'll keep you posted it'll probably be dark when i give you your next update but it may not look that different to you but i promise you we've done stuff so guys we are having iftar in a moment um so we have gone for fajitas tonight because it was nice quick and easy right guys now we've had our iftar and we Chilled out for a little bit. I want to get back to this bathroom because I'm sick of it. I hung up my fake eucalyptus up there. I will replace it with real, real eucalyptus, but it's handy to have this as well for when I don't have any real one at home and I just don't want the decoration up there. This is like the little caddy that I got from Matalan. It was like four pounds. But yeah, it's quite good. It's quite sturdy as well, actually. It's just suction cups. And I thought it's just handy to have it there to have like our shampoos and conditioners and everything. And yeah, I'm just gonna actually paint now. Damp sealant seems to be dry. And Marcus did want to do another coat of damp sealant, but I think he's seen how stressed out I am with his bathroom when he said it doesn't matter, I just put the like paint on. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that because you can obviously still see it looks quite blue and I want it to be more of like the stone white colour that I've got and then I can just literally get this over and done with now because it's really stressing me out and I do just want to get to bed on time. Excuse all the mess obviously because it still needs to be cleaned but there is the new toilet seat that we've put on so obviously once it's all set up and everything it's just going to go nice and cohesively but yeah now I'm just going to crack on and paint it shouldn't take too long because it's not massive. Good morning guys it is the next day and I just decided to replace this door handle with the exact same one because i can't look at this anymore right guys so it's the next day and i'm gonna show you the bathroom now i think we're almost done a few bits left but here we go so here we have the cabinet i decided to replace the cabinet that we had previously this one is from dunelm and yeah i really like it i'm a little bit gutted that the slacks on there they they're gray the little shelves however i don't think you can tell too much and I really like it, it'll obviously keep me motivated to keep it very nice and neat because it's, you know, it's on display, it's out there. And yeah, I've just got my husband's crazy collection of his face masks. <laughs> got some cleaning product on there, some cotton pads, a candle that I'll light. Not obviously in there, but I'll keep in the bathroom. And then we've tucked away our toilet rolls behind there, but I am going to get like a separate unit to keep the toilet rolls in. But yeah, I love that. The plant is Ikea, that's Dunel, that's Dunel. That's just an old candle jar that I use. I washed out and I keep the pads in there. And yeah, I'm just really pleased and glad that we did swap the cabinet in the end. And I like the way it turned out. Bear in mind, the walls still look a little bit blue. I think I need another coat of paint however i couldn't do that to myself today i really need to crack on i have so much work to do so i'm gonna leave it as it is for now and i'll come back to paint it another day because i want it too long but i think one final coat should do it this mirror is one from like spock or something it's one we bought when we bought the house so i can't link that for you then also decided to change the toilet seat so it matched a little bit more we went for a black toilet seat or even though the toilet's white i've seen quite a few people do this and i thought it looked quite nice to be fair so i picked that toilet seat up from dunelm that you saw too now you guys have already seen this this is my little skincare display that we have finally changed the door handle we do need to go and get some screws for it from being cute because the screws it came with aren't that great sorry how filthy my hands are like i've literally just finished today and i need to wash up and shower i need to paint the door but like i said i'm leaving the paint for another day because i don't have the entry with today so i'll quickly talk you through this so obviously this shelf is also is also from Dunell. This plant pot is from Ikea. I need to white spirit it and get the paint off. That's an old jar. Um, I don't know. I think I had a candle in it. And I now have like our cotton buds in there. Obviously got my skincare on there. Got Marcus's skincare on there. I've got my free or safety tucked. I tucked it behind these bottles. These serum bottles. Because it the the luna was fine but the ufo2 kept sliding out and i don't want to damage it with it falling i finally picked up some new towels i got these from dunelm 2 they've actually got a sale on at the minute with the towels so i picked up quite a few for us to enjoy our fresh new bathroom with some fresh new towels moving on to the actual shower side so as you guys know i basically just used grout pen on here i hope you can see that i've neatened it up a lot more there's still some bits that need doing but i'm really pleased with the results i mean 
I just think that it I just think it's something so small that's made such a big difference and I just really like the way that the tiles now stand out. I did this side with the permanent marker pen like I told you so I think you can pretty much see there's not really much of a difference there there's just I need to find one thin enough to go down the middle so I'll be on the hunt for that. Marker's freshly sealed around the bathtub today however we do think we're going to end up peeling that back off and redoing it because it's not as neat as he'd like it to be. This is my prized possession for when I have baths. So this is what I put like my iPad laptop on so I can watch some stuff whilst I'm in the bath. Uh, I think my mother-in-law got me this I think at Christmas. I believe it's from Amazon but I'm not sure just to let you know and I really need to replace my bath candles. There's still a little bit left in there but that's just one from Rituals. It's the black hood one. It is nice but I would say you can find just as good ones in TK Maxx. So we've obviously not changed the floor tiling, we've just kept that as it is. I'm, uns I'm unsure whether I want to black grout the tiles with like the same permanent marker, but I will keep you posted if that's something I do. Marcus, we I was planning to paint this black bath panel black, but Marcus said not to because we're unsure if you, any of you guys know which sort of paint or spray would work best whereas if water fell on it it wouldn't like stain or you couldn't see more watermarks I'd appreciate that because it's the one thing that's making us hesitant to change it but it's just a very minor change so I'm not too bothered about it. Moving on there's a eucalyptus that I got from Donnell. Eventually Marcus and I have decided we are going to replace the shower with a black one and then replace like all the taps and everything with everything black so it's a little bit more cohesive and the only reason we are doing that that's I would just leave it is because our shower is rubbish it does leak and then you can see here I've got like this little caddy I got this from Matalan so that was only like four pounds brilliant it's suction cups you just stick it on there and then you've got all your bath stuff in there as well sort of neatly tucked away and then also I picked up this from TK Maxx yesterday when I went I just wanted something on the wall here but like I said Marcus Marcus and I decided a print wouldn't work because in case it got wet and whatnot, even though I'd love like prints in bathrooms. So we decided to go for this. I mean, well, I saw it and I was like, it's kind of the perfect thing because it's like a feature, but I really like it. It's different. I am tempted to get a print for there, to be honest, but we'll see. Finally, the one thing that started all of it is this shower screen. So if you're new to the vlogs, a couple of months back, the shower screen smashed everywhere on top of me and luckily I was fine and it smashed and it went absolutely everywhere and we just avoided replacing it for absolutely ages and I'd been looking for one like this for ages but they're all like £600 so I finally found a company I can't remember their name so I'll leave it in the description box for you below and I went for the larger shower screen and I got it for like £200 sort of with delivery so I was really pleased with that because everywhere else I looked they were literally on sale for like £600 for this style of shower screen screen and I love it I just think it's completely transformed the bathroom I feel like we have a new bathroom and I'm just so pleased with the results and yeah I will leave the bits I've spoken about in the description below for you I won't leave I can't leave the links for everything because it's just stuff that I've bought in shops uh, but if I can I will and yeah I hope you guys like this little bathroom transformation I managed to do the whole bathroom in under 300 pounds most expensive thing was this and that was like 100 pounds so it's a really nice little bathroom transformation it's completely changed it for us and we are just so so incredibly pleased with it a couple of things that are left to do that I'll quickly talk you through is I am going to change the lights. I was looking for some yesterday to see if I can pick some. There wasn't any lights that I liked so I'm going to take my time with that. I also I have re ordered a replacement bathroom uh, light switch. So I've ordered one from Habitat. It's black and it's got a little gold wonky holding on at the bottom. So I can't wait for that to come. I think that's going to look so cute and just really pick up like the other gold accents in the bathroom quite well. So I will keep you posted when that gets here guys and show you one of the vlogs. But yeah I hope you like liked the little bathroom transformation and I think once everything changes I might even go for a gold shower who knows uh, let me know what you guys think and if you're gonna make any changes to your bathroom what you're doing but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this mini transformation sorry I wasn't in it a lot but I've just honestly been on this bathroom for ages now I need to stop um, and I'll catch up with you guys soon bye